Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's your boy, Terrence Carter. Hey, and I'm here back at it again with another video. Now, today's video, I want to correlate similar attention and NoFap in this video, but I also want to talk about controlling your feelings as a man, but also not being afraid to express your feelings. Because you gotta, you gotta really pay attention to how you feel, whether it be feeling good or whether it be feeling bad or feeling like low. You know what I'm saying? But because you might be going through something, but you don't ever want to run away from how you feel, and you don't want to be out here just feeling numb. That's what the that's what majority of the world is like, numbness, no type of feeling. A lot of people are afraid of their feelings or their emotions and afraid to express themselves or learn alchemy, learning how to, if you perceive something as negative, learning how to turn that into something more positive. I feel like in life, I've been learning a lot. I continue to learn a lot about myself. And one thing people might try to use against you is your anger. Or when you feel angry in the way that you react, they may try to hold that over your head and think that that's you. Not knowing that that's only one emotion. There's a thousand and one other emotions. But people like to just view you as one thing. Now, how does semen retention and NoFap come into play on this? When you want semen retention, when you want NoFap, you gotta express yourself. You can't be afraid of that. You gotta speak on how you feel, whether a person likes it or not. You feel me? Because with all this energy being cultivated and you not releasing your seed, it's definitely gonna build up like that inner regression, that inner tension. But it's also gonna, it's gonna help you out a lot more. Now, my bad, y'all. Shout out to everybody that's on their semen retention and no fab journey. Shout out to everybody that's been supporting the channel. New supporters, returning supporters, thank you to everybody. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if y'all gained something from today's video. It's early rising. It's 710. I'm about to go out there and go feed the people, but I just wanted to make this video right quick for you guys. And, um, yeah, man, like I was saying, you can't be... Afraid to express yourself. Now, when it comes down to, let's just say for instance, you're a man, right? You're a man and you you try to approach a woman and she reject you. You need to control your emotions. You need to not fear rejection. There are a lot of men that get rejected and start talking mad negative about the woman and start calling her all types of names. And this is why a lot of women be in fear because of the way that men act and can't control the emotional state of being. If she reject you, it is what it is. Don't think that, like, don't let that affect your self-confidence, your self-esteem, and don't let that affect your, your view on yourself. I, I know how that feels to be rejected. For, for a woman to tell you, oh, you're too short, or I don't want to talk to you because you're light-skinned, or... You feel me? A lot of them judge you based off of outside appearance, not really getting to know the real you, which is your soul, your spirit. You know what I'm saying? But don't fear rejection. True say. Um, another thing too, especially being on retention, bro, like your focus is supposed to be focused on your emotional healing. Because Trauma is very, very real. Traumatic experiences are very, very real. Things that you've gone through. Things that, like any negative day that you had, you, you've already survived. But this, you still might have times where you're like, damn, like I wish I never went through that. Or, you know, I wish 
just things that you wish never really happened to you, like verbal bullying or verbal abuse or you getting into fights and things like that, bro. But you have to, you gotta, you gotta heal that because nobody's gonna heal it for you. You have to forgive those and you have to forgive yourself. If you don't forgive other people, it's like something that will forever weigh you down. But you see, a lot of people outside of you won't forgive you. They won't, they won't forgive you. They'll hold it over your head. They'll use it against you. Oh, you did this. Oh, you did that. Oh, you said that. But they forget what they did to you to cause that reaction. They forget what they said to you to cause that reaction. That's a part of healing. Sometimes it's not going to come across to people the right way. They're not going to really get it. Sometimes you just might have to take accountability for your own actions as a man, and that's message to self. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no man just want to be angry and thinking that the world is against him or thinking that things ain't going to go his way. That's not, that's not how men is supposed to even operate. You're supposed to operate in confidence, high self-esteem, a lot of self-love, not giving an F about how other people think or how other people view you, like not really caring because when you start caring too much, that's taken away from your power. You know what I'm saying? Another thing too, if you're in a relationship, right? Or even if you're not in a relationship and you want similar attention and no fat, this really helps you control yourself and not be so addicted to looking for a relationship or looking for that fulfillment, not being so addicted to sex. A lot of people look for others to make them happy instead of making themselves happy. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people look for that, that love outside of themselves, but it's you're going to be looking forever if you keep on looking outside of yourself. You have to always look within yourself. And it's like God keeps you alone for a reason. I told you guys already, like, God had me by myself, living by myself for a reason. It's to get to know myself on a different level, to really take care of myself mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally, and of course financially. And understanding and understanding that I am my biggest responsibility and nobody's going to take care of me. Like, I'm an adult. My mom did her job already. My dad did his job already, but it's me taking care of myself now. And I respect the independence. I respect the emotional intelligence that I have within myself, the confidence that I have within myself to be able to do it. The faith that I have in myself and in the Most High God to be able to not give me anything that I can't handle. Everything God has given to me, I've been able to handle. Everything that the Most High God has been showing me and been putting me through, I've been able to handle, bro. There's so much that I've been learning about myself and I, I still have more growing to do. I still have more learning and elevating to do, but I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to quit. I'm never going to give up just because things might seem tough or hard or just because you might go through like little temporary things, bro. Got to keep pushing. Got to keep going. That solitude... Just being, like, peace of mind, bro. Like, having that peace of mind is highly important, fellas. That's probably one of the most important things, is having a, being at peace with yourself because the world already wants you to not like yourself. The world wants you to compare yourself so badly to the next person when comparison is the thief of joy. You're supposed to compare yourself to who you were yesterday. That is it. Don't let nobody destroy how you feel about yourself. Don't run away from how you feel. Feel how you feel. It could be a good a good feeling. It could be a bad feeling. It could be anger, rage. It could be happiness, love. Just feel how you feel. Don't ignore how you feel. I just wanted to share that with y'all. Just a quick video for y'all. Like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody that's been supporting the channel. 
channel is growing. Shout out to everybody once again on their senior retention and OFAP journey. About to go out there and feed the people. It's early rising, man. And I got some more YouTube shorts coming to the channel for y'all too. It's February. So, I appreciate y'all, man. Hey.